What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna talk about a topic that I very rarely see information about online, but that a lot of you have asked me to talk about, and this is the topic of what happens when you leave a big tech company like Google or Facebook. What is the process of leaving those companies? What is the so-called exit interview that you may have heard of? And is it possible to go back to working at those companies after you've left? There really isn't that much information, if any, online about this topic. A lot of you are curious about it. And as you may know, I happen to have quite a bit of experience in the department of leaving those companies. I left my job as a software engineer at Google right around a year ago now. It was, I think, July 8th, 2019. Crazy to think that it's been a year. I left my job as a software engineer at Facebook back Back in November 2019, also kind of getting close to a year since that time. It's just crazy to think about. But all that to say that I've got some experience in this department and I want to share this experience with all of you. So with that said, let's jump right into it. The first thing to note is that the process to leave these companies is a pretty rigorous one. From what I've heard from friends who've worked at other companies, at a lot of other companies, all that you have to do if you wanna leave the companies is basically tell your manager, hand in your badge, and walk out the door. And that's basically it. At Facebook and Google, there was actually a pretty lengthy process. You had a pretty long checklist of items that you had to go through and check off before you could actually even leave. Now, both companies made it very nice and straightforward by giving you this checklist and giving you all sorts of resources to help you along the way, but it was still pretty striking. Now, there was a lot of administrivia related to healthcare, 401ks, taxes after you leave. That's all kind of normal. But then on top of that, there was a lot of information about things you had to do related to security, like for instance, logging out of certain accounts internally, resetting some of your hardware, like for instance, if you had a work phone, making sure to reset it completely, taking out certain security keys and putting them in certain containers at Google, for example. Then they reminded you to transfer ownership of any documents that you might have, like if we're talking Google documents, transfer ownership to your teammates or to your manager so that once you leave, anything that you were in possession of is no longer like locked internally, assuming that it was something relevant to your team. Then they also remind you to use up any sort of internal currency or consumable that you may have not used up. So here, the thing that I'm thinking about at Google is is the massage points. At Google, you get massage points that you can use to get free massages, and they remind you, hey, if you haven't used up all your massage points, now might be a good time. So during my last two weeks, I remember I got like three different massages. And then putting all this aside, we finally get to the point where you have to make your departure official. And here it was a tad different between the two companies, if I remember correctly. I hope my memory isn't failing me. But at Facebook, all that you had to do was tell your manager hey, I'm leaving. And your manager is then charged with contacting an HR representative and getting the entire official process started. At Google, if I remember correctly, telling your manager was just a courtesy, but to actually make the process official, you had to, I think, submit some little form and send an official email, like with some sort of official template to a special email list. And once you did that, the system basically like took over and it was official. And I do believe that at that point, if you hadn't already told your manager at Google, they would get an email notifying them that, hey, this person is leaving. Now this brings me to the next part of the process, which is the exit interview, this infamous interview that a lot of people have heard about, they've heard myths about. Well, I'm here to tell you what it actually is. Basically, the exit interview is an interview that you either have with your manager, your direct manager, or with an HR representative. I believe that it used to be only with HR people, but recently Google made it also with your manager if you wanted to or depending on other circumstances. The point is the interview itself is not actually an interview. It's just a conversation between you and the other person where you can basically give them feedback about the company. You can answer certain questions like, why are you actually leaving? Do you have any negative feedback about the company? Was there some sort of negative experience that happened at the company that made you leave or that influenced your decision to leave? It's also a time when you can give them positive feedback about the company. You can express your interest to 
to come back to the company, and I'll talk about that in more detail in a little bit. But so for me at Google, my exit interview was with my direct manager, which was interesting because I had been very close with my direct manager. He knew that I was leaving for Facebook for at least two weeks before that conversation. So this felt more like just one last conversation rather than some sort of special interview. At Facebook, on the other hand, my exit interview was with an HR representative, and I think that it happened on my before last day at Facebook on a Thursday. And so I remember vividly the interview. It was with this lady. She was really nice. She was remote. She was based in, I think, Austin or something. So it was over, over video conferencing. And she just asked me all sorts of questions along the lines of, why are you leaving Facebook? Did you have a good experience at Facebook? Was there anything negative about Facebook? All the things that I said before she asked me, and it was kind of funny because for me, since I had only been at Facebook for two months, like very short amount of time, I had absolutely only positive things to say about Facebook. So I kept telling her, you know, yes, Facebook was great. I love Facebook. Nothing bad happened at Facebook. The only reason that I'm leaving is because I have to pursue this entrepreneurial opportunity with Algo Expert. And by the way, if you're trying to get into Facebook and Google so that you too can experience the exit interview process, then check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. But so that's what I told her, that the only reason I was leaving Facebook, truthfully, was to pursue my company, Algo Expert. Nothing bad had happened at Facebook. And so this brings me to the final point, the point of can you go back to working at these big tech companies once you leave? And here in the exit interview, she asked me this question. She asked me, would you be willing to come back to work for Facebook if, for whatever reason, your circumstances change in the future? And of course, I told her, yes, definitely. If for whatever reason, you know, I quit Algo Expert or something happens, who knows, I would be more than willing to come back to Facebook. And so on this topic of coming back to these companies, the way that it works is when you leave, in the eyes of the company, you leave either regrettably or unregrettably. If you leave regrettably, it means that you were in good standing with the company, you were a good performer, and they basically are regretting to see you leave. They would prefer that you not leave. And if you leave regrettably, then the doors are pretty wide open for you to come back. And here, the general rule of thumb that I was given by my manager at Google is that if you come back, or if you want to come back, within one year of your departure, and you come back in the same capacity the same role, the same level. So for me, I was an L4 engineer at Google. If I wanted to come back as an L4 engineer at Google within a year and I left regrettably, then it's basically like I just walk through the door and I'm back in. No interviews. My manager told me like, if I want to come back, contact him either on LinkedIn or I have his Google email and you know he'll get the process started and I'll be back in no time. If you want to come after a year or if you want to come at a higher level or in a different function, then you might have to do a few more interviews or the entire interview process again, especially if you come in a different role. Like if I wanted to come back to Google as a product manager, since I never worked as a product manager there, then I would have to interview as a product manager and do the entire interview process. But if I wanted to come back as an engineer, let's say in one and a half years, or even as an L5 engineer, then maybe they would only have me do one or two or three interviews fewer than the norm because they do have all of my information internally. They know how I performed as an engineer over there. They know that I left in good standing, etc. And at Facebook, I was actually contacted by a recruiter who works on the ex-Facebook recruiting team or whatever it's called. He contacted me a month after I left Facebook back in December 2019 and contacted me again in winter 2020 and like February or March, basically telling me like, hey Clement, how's it going? Would you be interested in coming back to Facebook? Have your circumstances changed? And of course I politely told him that no, right now, you know, I was still working on Algo Expert and things were going very well. But the point is clearly there is a very clear cut path to go back to those companies. And that's a really nice thing. And it's also something that they both emphasized to me during this exit interview process. Cause I remember I did ask some questions about this, like, how easy 
is it to come back? How often do people come back? And apparently it's a pretty common thing. It's a pretty common thing for Fang engineers to leave the companies to try out something, whether it be their own business, like for me, or trying out a startup, you know, going to work at a startup that you want to just experiment with, or going to work at another big tech company, like, you know, leaving Google for Facebook, but then deciding, you know what, I don't like this team at Facebook and I want to go back to Google. It's a very common thing apparently, and that's why they have this entire process in place. And finally, this video wouldn't be complete without my mentioning the absolute last step of this entire process, which is the step where you leave your computer, your laptop, to the company and you hand in your badge. You can actually do this whenever you want, after you've submitted your two week or one week's notice, but I did it on the very last day for both, and most people do that. And I remember it was kind of a sad feeling for me both times that I gave the laptop back because when you are at these companies, you have access to a lot of internal information. You are privy to a lot of internal stuff that outsiders just don't have access to. And also with that badge, as I've said in some of my other videos, you can visit any Google office or any Facebook office in the world, at least I think so at Facebook, but at Google definitely, and that is such a cool thing that you have access to. And the second that you hand them back in, the second that you hand in your laptop, you will never be able to access internal stuff again. You won't be able to access internal tools, internal chats, all this stuff. It's basically gone instantly, as you might expect, and so that's sort of the final step of the process and just a little sad. It's like you're giving the keys to the kingdom back. Either way, that is the entire process of leaving a company like Google or Facebook. I hope that you found this video insightful. Hopefully it gave you a little bit of information that you didn't previously have. If it did, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you like short form written content, and I will see you in the next video.